Today is the third day for protests here in the capital capital city. Good afternoon. I'm Michael Aaron. People are rallying for peace and racial justice after George Floyd died while being arrested by Minneapolis police one week ago today. Our Ashley Godwin is live at City Hall where protesters sit in front of the building. Ashley, what are you seeing there this afternoon? That's right, Michael. I am here. I've been here since about seven this morning and protesters started trickling in about eight and there was a heavy police presence. We saw police cars circling the building uh, several times, but once they saw that the protesters were peaceful, uh, we don't see as much police, but they are still here. And I've been talking to uh, protesters all this morning and uh, two were actually at the 12th Street protest last night where they talked to officers and they said that the officers were just wanted peace. They wanted unity and they even prayed over them. And so a lot of questions and concerns they have for Mayor Frank Scott Jr. And actually one city leader came here today to talk to them. Take a listen. How's he feeling about this? Um, being a man of color as well, how do you feel? Like, you know, is this bothering you as well? Like, is this getting to you? Like, do you want to help make a difference with us? If our governor was here, if our mayor was here, we can ask them, what can you do? What are you willing to do? to help us because we need those those laws in place, those legislations in place to help our black community. I think the main thing is that all these citizens need to know that they pay our salary. We exist because they allow us to exist. So there's no questions off limits. So if if they want to stop and talk to us, they should have that right. They should be able to talk to us or drive down the street without feeling that they can't do so you know freely. And the protesters said after Chief Humphrey left, they felt so much more hope about change coming because of the answers that he gave them. Now, I reached out to Mayor Frank Scott Jr. and Asa Hutchinson to see if they would comment on these questions, and I still haven't heard back. But we will be continuing coverage throughout the day if the protests move and just staying here with these protesters. I'm Ashley Godwin in Little Rock, THV 11 News.